Welcome back to our truck camper renovation series. Today we're going to upgrade the tap from the two knob tap that's in there to this newer Moen tap. Not the fanciest but I actually had it left over from another house that I didn't end up using it in so it's going in here. It's a little nicer than what we have. I need to change the water line fittings. The ones, uh, the water lines that are in there have the thread that threads right onto the taps, which is a bigger fitting. This one needs the smaller fittings. So I'm going to put in, uh, cut the PEX lines off, put in some valves with these type of fittings. And while we're putting the taps in, we're also going to put in a water cleaner or water filter system. We, there's so many options in water filter systems and we don't know if this is the way to go or not and you know i'm sure it's not the best one it's not the worst one size was an issue it's got to fit under our cupboards we wanted a separate tap for filtered water we didn't want all our water coming out of here filtered because really there's no need so this is just going to be filtering our drinking water this ultra filtration what's it called frizz life frizz life gx99 under sink water filtration system it's pretty compact it doesn't have a mounting system so i'm gonna have to attach it in there that's the only drawback really the size is pretty nice though and um, it comes with all the fittings i need there's a little valve that's actually going to go right after the valve i add and then my tap is going to hook to that and then you have just these uh, little water line that comes out and it should come with its own oh, right here its own little tap system so we're gonna get that all put in there today and uh, we'll show you how we make out along the way we're ready to take out the original tap in this Bigfoot 2500 series I unthreaded the water lines hot and cold that thread in right under the valves they're just a plastic nut I can show you those after and uh, then there's these plastic nuts that go on the same places where the water lines thread to hold this down so it's all taken out by hand i'm pretty vice grip handy maybe you might need a set of pliers to grab the tabs or something if uh, you don't have the grip strength one was really tight but they came out by hand and as uh, simple as that that old tap she's gone the new tap has an option for single mounting or triple mounting which um, comes with this plate so we're going to triple mount because the old one had the outside hole so i still gonna have to make the center hole but this covers it hopefully some of it this one's rounded the other one was square i'll clean everything up and hopefully you don't see the marks of the old one so much I'm going to have to get a uh, big hole saw to make a hole. This kind of sits under there and it's all going to mount in. So at least the hole's made through the stainless steel sink. I just got to get through the countertop. So we'll see what we can find for a hole saw. All right. So now we have a hole figure out which way this thing goes the locator so that way and then this can turn and we put these hoses down through the new hole put that in there like that and then tighten this up on the bottom so here's the water filter I think I've decided how I'm going to mount it. I have these 3M command strip Velcros. It doesn't really need to be mounted very solidly. It really just needs to not move around and bounce around in there. It's going to be sitting right on a shelf and against a wall. So I'm just going to put it in there, Velcro it on, then, and the way it's going to mount is going to, the filters are on this end. So if you want to take the filters out, you got, there's a tool, you turn these to unlock and slide them out the three stages of filter. 
but they're going to be facing the outside wall. That way I can have a longer piece of hose and I can see my hose fittings to plug them in. Then when we want to change the filters, which maybe is once a year the way we're going to use water, um, this can Velcro off and come right out. We can change it out on the counter. We can just disconnect the hoses or we could pull it out enough probably to change them if we didn't want to disconnect the hoses, but they're quick disconnects. So they're easy to do. So I think I'm going to do four Velcro attachment points on here. I'll stick them on here to start and then I'll just put it in place and push it against the wall. Then it'll be mounted. Okay, so the four command strip Velcros are on there. I'm going to be putting it down in that corner. So we'll slide it down there. and then stick it to the wall. All right, hopefully that stays stuck enough not to bounce around. And uh, now we can just plug the supply hose. I gotta trim them to length. This is the one from the faucet. And I'll hook up the supply one to this fitting here right there and then hook them up to the back of the filter and i've installed the tap this is the standalone drinking water tap only the water that goes through the filter comes out of there unfiltered water here just regular water and the uh, it was pretty simple install i just had to drill a half inch hole through the counter and mount that in there hook up the quick connect hose so here we have the plumbed up lines there's the fitting from the water filter kit the braided line goes down and up to the cold water tap and then the white line comes off towards the water filter over here we have the hot water tap i installed and the braided line goes up to the water tap and then the white lines coming down go to the filter. We have the inlet from the hot or the cold water fitting. And then the filtered outlet goes up to the tap for the water filtered water. And we have unfiltered water, hot and cold on this tap. And our drinking water filtered here which the, we filled up many times in the last month and a half on the road. The water always tastes nice and clean. Everything seems to be filtered out well. And our water filter Velcroed in place has stayed put just fine. Nothing's moved around. We've done, oh, probably five or 6,000 miles, eight or 9,000 kilometers since we've been on the road and everything is working like it should. Now my wheels in motion and